another view of my house. So um, this is the room with the orange wall. And if you hear some water in the background, I have a fish tank with no fish in it to my right. Um, anyways, so today's the 2nd of June. And so week four, Stitch Mania, um, <laughs> I posted a video on Instagram like in the middle of the week where I was kind of like, I don't really want to work on what I was supposed to work on. So week four, I kind of got burnt out. I was supposed to be working on the Hogwarts crest, which I did, um, and then start the Emma Congdon, um, a stitch in time, which my computer is choosing to update all of my i uh, all of my text messages so you'll hear dinging every once in a while yay uh i'm sorry um i was supposed to start emma congdon's a stitch in time from the just cross stitcher magazine and small rant about that so i used to have well i was also supposed to do um, I'll get back to the rant. I was also supposed to start, if it requires pants or a bra, it's not happening. And then finally I was supposed to end the month working on Cloud Factory postcards, which I did. Um, so I worked on the Hogwarts crest and I don't know if you've been following the news at all, but there's been a ton of like flooding in Texas again so um that's not been fun and um i've been fine i do have friends and family members that did get water in their house and it's currently still going on so i have more friends and family who are close to being affected so once again please keep texas in your prayers um because we have no idea when the rain is supposed to stop. Um, I have a friend whose house flooded even whenever it wasn't raining. And that's because the rivers and bayous are so flooded and like our lakes and stuff that they are trying to drain them. And it's causing flooding without the rain. And that started before it started raining again. So... Lots. Anyways, Texas prayers, please. Thank you. If like I like in my video like a month and a half ago that we were having this issue. If your state or your area of Texas is donating to the Conroe, Woodlands, Houston, Brazoria, Rosenberg, Austin. Brenham, I don't even know, like literally it's a massive area underwater. Um, please, please donate. They definitely need water. They need food for animals, people, babies, clothes. Same thing as last time. Um, this time a lot of cattle is getting uh, affected and they're doing these like massive cattle drives or they have been today. If you are friends with me on Facebook, um, you've seen me reposting some videos about that. It's crazy. Anyways, back to stitchy things. Um, okay, so I started on the Hogwarts at the beginning of the week. So I'll just get into it and I'll tell you like my rants and all my thoughts that I had throughout the week. I obviously was not prepared to do this because I wrapped up all of the threads in the middle of my fabric, which I normally always do, but I don't, I used to not film videos. Um, so the first night I didn't really do anything. I got it all out. I even threaded a needle. I didn't do anything. Um, I think I now have an Instagram message. Hold tight. Oh, I did. Um, sorry, my phone keeps on going off. So the first night I even like threaded a needle and then I was just too tired 
and exhausted. Um, I don't remember what day it was. Um, or what was going on. I don't know. I was just, oh, Tuesday. I don't know. For some reason, I just wasn't feeling it. And so then Wednesday, I actually really did work on it. And I got a good chunk, I think of the H in the center of the crest done. Um, so I was pretty chuffed with that progress. Um, I had a lot of distractions that night. My head was just not where it needed to be. That was on Wednesday. And then I was like, I'll work on that on Thursday. And Thursday, my Lanta, Thursday, um, I was in jury duty from 8.30 in the morning until 2.30 in the afternoon and didn't get a lunch break. So I just went straight home and I really, I looked at the Hogwarts crest and I was like, don't want to, like, I just don't want to. And then I was like, well, maybe I'll start if it requires pants. But then I was like, but which I tie-dyed the fabric originally for that, but then that was before the whole dyed panda thing. I don't know. So anyways, since I had all this tie-dyed fabric now, I was like, I don't know which one I want to use it on now. So then I was like, I don't really want to do that one. So I was on the phone for almost three hours trying to talk to Canon to get my Wi-Fi printer hooked back up to my Wi-Fi because I had switched my provider a couple months ago and then I just, I haven't needed it. So I never reset it up. And only to find out, haha, -ha, this is where the rant comes in. Well, first of all, I could rant about Canon because the first guy that helped me was a complete moron and he like wouldn't help me or he'd be like, okay, now press this button. And then I'd be like, okay, what do I do next? And then he'd be like, you know, I could just send you these instructions to your email and you could watch a video. And I'm like, help me or don't help me. But I've pressed the button, now what do I do? Like I, ugh, I don't have patience for it. I also could barely understand him which has nothing to do with it, but it added in the frustration. So, um, needless to say, I hung up on him and I recalled. I told him that I was hanging up. And I recalled and I got a very nice person who helped me get it set back up on, anyways, him and another guy helped me get it all set back up. So the reason I had to do that is because I used to work at an entertainment movie video bookstore several years ago. I was the video manager. I think I've mentioned it in some videos before. And I was able to get Just Cross Stitcher there. The store here closed down a couple years ago. Like I had stopped, already stopped like working there. Um, and, but it closed down a couple years ago. We don't have any other bookstore in town that isn't college book related. So I have no way of physically getting this magazine um, unless I go down to the next bigger town that has an old Hastings or not an old Hastings, but has a Hastings and half the time they either don't have it in stock and they tell you that they don't get it anymore. But then the next time you go, it's there because nobody knows what they're talking about at that store. Um, or they have like two issues back, which I know that it takes us longer to get it here because it's from the UK. But you shouldn't be like three months behind. You should maybe be one month behind. So then the next closest place to get it is in the Woodlands. And they have a Barnes & Nobles that carries it. But they're also usually about a month behind. So, and I don't go down there very often. Because back whenever this pattern came out, gas was hella expensive. And I drive a truck. So if I go to the Woodlands, I'm like, I need to go to like Lush, the container store, World Market, um, the mall. Uh, like I have to go to like a list of stores. I don't just go to go run and grab a magazine. That's stupid. So I started buying the magazines um, 
about two years ago um, through the app. And I had about 15 to 20 of the magazines on the app and I could print out the patterns that I wanted with a Wi-Fi printer. That's why I bought my Wi-Fi printer like a year and a half ago, two years ago maybe. Um, I think it was two Black Fridays ago. So yeah, going on three years I had this printer. So um, anyways, long story short or long-ish story short, um, the company got sold out a while back to like Dylan or something and my app automatically updated on my phone and whenever it logged me back in, all of my magazines were gone. So I wrote the company and I was like, what the hey? Because I had written on the Just Cross It Your Facebook page because several people were making comments like, hey, what happened to our online magazines? And they weren't answering anybody. And they, <laughs> this is really great. Nobody would answer us in emails at the time and nobody would answer us on Facebook. So instead to shut us up on Facebook, they blocked anybody who made comments about it from being able to comment on the Facebook Just Cross Stitcher page. They blocked us. Like not from the page, we could still be a follower on the page and see the photos and see what everybody else was saying, but we got blocked because we asked a legitimate question that we weren't getting answered to the company. So I emailed the company and they kept on telling me like I could call, blah, 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 here's the number. And I'm like, I live in America. Like I can't just call the UK. Like. This, this is not reality. So, um, so anyways, my only question was, I like, I even emailed, like they asked me to mail proof of the, of the ones that I had. So I did, I went through all of my back, like all of my back purchases through my, um, Apple history and found every single magazine and the edition that I bought and blah, blah, blah. And, um, thinking that since they asked for that, that maybe they would be able to send me like a PDF copy of it or like some way to get a copy of something that I have paid for. No. So they asked for it for basically no reason. And then they told me, well, we can't help you because we're a new publishing company and we don't have the rights to those, which I wish they could have just told me that from the get go. So then they told me all that. And then they said that I could write Apple and see if they would refund my money for the additions that I bought. But that doesn't help me get all the patterns that I wanted that I wasn't able to finish printing out. Like that was kind of shit in my opinion. So then fast forward to this last Wednesday or no Thursday, sorry, Thursday, I was on the phone for forever to get this fixed because I stupidly on the app bought and like a couple months ago, like several months ago, like around Christmas maybe, um, I bought three of the fall magazines that I really, really, really wanted a couple patterns from. And the Stitch in Time by Emma Congdon is in, I think, the August or September one. It's a sewing machine, like, made out of, like, words. It's beautiful. Anyways, and I also bought, maybe it's that one's in the August and September is the one with the cats on the front. I bought that one because I really wanted to make the damn cat. Cause I like cats, clearly y'all know this. So, um, anyways, and then I bought one other one, I think, I think, well, in the app you used to be able to pull up the page, the specific page that you needed. And with a Wi-Fi printer, print out that specific page. So I do all of this. And apparently the app had had a recent upload again, and the print button is no longer there. So I wrote the company, which apparently they've been bought out again, which I, I don't even understand this. So, because it hasn't even been like a year and a half. So apparently, I guess they've been bought out again. So 
I wrote them and I asked, is there something that I don't know about? The print button has disappeared. Like, do is do I need do I have like the wrong edition of the app? Like, what do I need? Like, bleh, how do I do it? What do I need to do? Like, help me get this pattern. And they wrote me back instructions of how to screenshot the picture on my phone. Mind you, the picture would be this big, how to screenshot it, then instructions on how to email it to myself so that way I could print out the picture of the pattern. Do you have any idea how small that picture would print out from a screenshot? So, needless to say, I guess I'm never gonna get to make that pattern because I, whatever. So I got really frustrated and kind of like pissed really. So I decided that something that was making me incredibly happy was working on my Pen Pals sampler. So I, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday worked on Pin Pal Sampler and maybe part of Sunday. Actually, ooh, Sunday I did not stitch at all. So I finished it up Monday morning because Sunday my dad came up, my dad and Jackie came up, and then that night I got drunk. So I didn't stitch, and it was really nice, and I like took a nap. It was really great. Um... <laughs> But so Thursday and Friday, after all that, Thursday, Friday, and part of Saturday, I worked on um, Sunny Day at Carrot Farm, and I got this one done. And then Saturday to Monday, I worked on the little Irish girl. Isn't she so cute? So I got two of these done. So now this is my sampler so far. Um, the next one I'm going to do because there's a lot of blank fabric off to this side. And um, since that's like my dominant like stitching hand, um, it gets really irritating having all this extra fabric. So you'll actually see what I do. I use a chip clip to clip it onto the prongs of my hoop, which you'll see in a second whenever I show you my postcards. I didn't mean for this video to be so long. I'm really sorry guys. But um, so I'm going to do the one that I want to go down here, which is pinata party. And I have all the colors already picked out for whenever I pick this back up. So pinata party is going to go down here. And so basically this is like the, this is the absolute middle. And then um, so pinata party and Valentine's Day, and then I'll move, I'll work my way over to where the fabric is less annoying to me. So, that is my Pin Pals. It's got my fabric for Pinata Party down there. Looks super colorful and really pretty. Um, so then, Monday and Tuesday, I picked this back up, and I've been working on it since. But this is, see my little chip clip to hold up all this extra fabric. So I started on the May um, postcard, uh, New Dolly, and I'm getting pretty close. I like, to, I like to kind of do it to where I can kind of finish like a color at a time. I don't have many colors left. I just have a fair amount of the colors that I have left. And um, I think I'm going to put Egypt... Because this one should have gone next to Paris on the top row the way that I kind of planned it. But I don't really like this one as much. Like the guy kind of freaks me out a little bit. I don't know why. He just kind of does. But I'm in love with Egypt. I think I'm going to put Egypt in the number two spot where London was supposed to go. Or Paris. No, Paris. Sorry. I think I'm going to put Egypt where Paris was supposed to go. So he's going to be in the number two spot. So, um, so yeah. I'm kind of, I'm working on it, but I've been kind of like slow at it because I don't know. I kind of lost my fire the last week of Stitch Mania. I was really frustrated that I couldn't work on the ones that I wanted to. Um, and then I was really frustrated at myself that 
I was kind of like, eh, I'll just pick a different pattern. And a lot of y'all left me really encouraging words and kept on telling me like stitch mania is what you want it to be and blah, 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 blah. But, and I, I totally understand that and I really value all of y'all's support and enthusiastic comments. I wasn't like, I'm not like frustrated, like mad, like I'm pissed, like I hated stitch, ro uh, stitch mania, stitch mania, stitch mania. I just, I have ADD and I have OCD, so I just kind of get agitated, frustrated probably isn't the best word, but kind of a little bit agitated whenever I can't do what I originally set out to do. Um, and it's not because of like a roadblock thing. It's just, I don't, I don't know. It's really hard to explain. I still had fun with Stitch Mania. Um, the whole frustrating part that I was talking about in the week three video is because I like seeing a lot of progress and some of them I really did see a lot of progress. I think the first two weeks kind of like spoiled me and then whenever I got to week three, I was working on bigger, more intricate patterns. I really should have mixed them up better, but I kind of did it because of the schedule like the stuff that I knew I had to do after like work and stuff for the first two weeks, I kind of threw the easy patterns in at the beginning and I really should have left a few for the end because I just, I was getting really frustrated that I wasn't getting a lot of progress and that's a personal thing. I mean, I just, I like seeing a lot of progress in two days for the patterns that I started in week three and four was not enough time for me to see progress and feel like the two days made me accomplish something. And that's where I was getting like frustrated. I wasn't frustrated with Stitch Mania itself. It was more of how I kind of like arranged the patterns into the month. And um, I kind of did it just because of things that came up in my schedule. So I did it because I kind of had to do it that way. But if I do do Stitch Mania next year, I think I'll definitely do less. Probably. I don't know. We'll see how I feel next um, April <laughs> and how I feel about where I'm at with all my stuff in April. But I'll probably at this point, I feel like I might do less. I might pick up, I might instead of doing starts, I might do whips. So that way maybe I can get some of my whip piles either worked on or finished. Um, so I don't know. Um, I really did enjoy it. I think it was a really good way to get started some patterns that have been sitting in your drawer for a while. I think it's really awesome. Um, I really did have fun with it. I just, I think maybe I would do less so that way I could work a few more days on each one. I think maybe that for me would make it a little bit more pleasurable, but also I just have to see where I'm at in April next year going like planning for it. So oh, all overall, um, week four was kind of stressful because of the issues, the technical issues of getting patterns. Um, and just like the drive to do it and you know whenever it's like really crappy weather outside and a lot of like bad is happening um, to like people that you know like I don't know it just kind of like turns me off from like stitching although it is like my relaxation um, I also find rain very sleepy so I was kind of like stitch some sleep some stitch some sleep some because whenever it's raining I would rather sleep or watch a movie or not do anything that I should um so this week was kind of like a struggle with that because of just being tired because of the weather um the frustrations with technical issues getting patterns but I'm really I am glad that it's over but I really did enjoy it I really want to do it again next year, but I really think I will know better how to, um, how I want to go about it. And, um, so yeah, I'm really am excited for next year's stitch mania. I really loved this year's. I really hope that y'all like 
my progress that y'all have seen or some of the patterns. Maybe you haven't heard of any of them or some of them, not any of them. I know a lot of y'all have heard of some of them, but um, hopefully throughout the month, you've seen some stuff that maybe you want to try or um, I don't know. I don't know. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. I really do thank you and appreciate your kind words for last week's or for the third week's video um, where I was expressing my frustration, but hopefully I clarified some of that, but I really do still appreciate y'all's comments. Um, it was really, really comforting to know how much y'all care about um, my progress with Stitch Mania. Um, I think it's awesome, and I hope y'all have been doing really good. I can't wait to see some of y'all's videos of y'all's last week or your whole month or however you're doing your videos. And I will see y'all next time. Bye, guys.